Hello, my name is Olga Nissenbaum. I'm presenting the project Simple, Practical Multiparty Maliciously Secure Private Set Intersection. This is a joint work with Aner Ben Ephraim, Eran Omri, and Anat Paskin Chernyavsky from Ariel University, Israel. Let there be some intrusion detection system where cooperating agencies aim to find suspicious IP addresses looking for an intersection of their personal lists of suspect users. They don't want to disclose their entire lists, which can leak sensitive information. Multi-party private set intersection protocols, or MPSI for short, allow the set of mutually distrustful parties, each holding a private set of items, to jointly compute the intersection of those sets, and nothing more. They can run a secure computation protocol, and by the end of it, they learn the intersection. In this case, they set BDEF. Any party obtains no information about the elements of other parties or their partial intersections. The MPSI problem has a lot of practical applications like private contact discovery, password breach monitoring, ads conversion measurement, botnet detection, and many more. Our goal is to build a secure multi-party, concretely efficient uh, PSI protocol. We would like to obtain the security against any number of parties actively abusing the protocol. We achieve the concrete efficiency, which means that the protocol is efficient in the execution with the realistic number of parties and set sizes, and not only good asymptotic efficiency, which means that the speed not too fast decreases with the growing parameters. We want our MPSI protocol to scale well with the number of parties and the input size. Let us show a naive example of how PSI protocol can be built for the special case of two parties. Let Alice and Bob compute as and send to each other the hash values of their private elements. Comparing hashes, parties can compute the intersection. However, this protocol is not secure. Despite the fact that elements are hidden, it's possible for, say, Alice to send some random values instead and still obtain the correct output. Also, if the domain is small or if distribution of items is far from the uniform, then Alice could save the received hashes and probe them later, thus recovering much more of Bob's elements than was supposed. To manage the security issues, in secure multi-party computations, we consider the model of the adversary who can take the control over some subset of parties. There are two basic models of the adversary. A semi-honest adversary is one that must follow the prescribed protocol faithfully, but may try to infer information about honest parties, given its view in the protocol. A malicious adversary can instruct corrupt parties to deviate from the protocol in any way it wishes. The malicious model is more realistic than the semi-honest one. However, it's harder to obtain malicious security. Our multi-party PSI protocol is maliciously secure. Another important issue is efficiency. There are a number of splending PSI works based on homomorphic encryption or involving a huge number of field exponentiations. Thus, they are computationally heavy, even having low communication complexity. Our protocol uses only lightweight building blocks, apart from the small constant number of seats to start, and is computationally efficient. In many scenarios, it is possible to improve the performance by splitting the protocol into phases. The pre-processing or offline phase doesn't require the input data and could be performed at any time beforehand. The online phase is executed after the parties obtain their inputs and are ready to compute the protocol. It's desirable to take the heaviest part of the computation and communication to the offline phase, then the visible part of the interaction is fast. In our protocol, most of the heavy interactions and computations are in the offline phase. 
For some settings, the number of rounds, that is the phases when uh, the parties can send messages in parallel is crucial. Our protocol has only two online rounds, which is less than any other MPSI protocol. Other existing MPSI protocols have a minimum of three online rounds. There was great progress on two-party PSI. There are many secure and efficient protocols. Let's look at the multi-party malicious landscape before our project. One of the first maliciously secure MPSI protocols appeared in 2005 in the work of Kistner and Song. It has a nice asymptotic communication complexity, but is computationally heavy and was never implemented. Chion, Yareki and Seo 2012 had better asymptotic communication, but still impractical due to the heavy building blocks, such as homomorphic encryption, zero-knowledge proofs, etc. Hazai and Venkita Subramanian 2017 built a malicious MPSI, which is also not computationally efficient to, due to, to the quadratic number of exponentiations. In the recent work of Gosh and Nigel 2019, the asymptotic communication complexity is the best out of the all previous malicious MPSI and also is superior to us. However, it's not practically efficient since it has heavy computations, many broadcast rounds, and also communication complexity has large hidden constant, which in fact adds the factor equals the usual computation security parameter value. We stress that all these malicious MPSI protocols had asymptotic complexity as the goal and made outstanding progress in this. Finally, most relevant to our work are the semi-honest secure MPSI protocol of Inbar et al. 18, which with the Kolesnikov et al. 17 was the state of the art semi-honest MPSI being concretely efficient with the good asymptotics. And efficient to party maliciously secure PSI of Rindal and Rosulik 17. We achieve malicious security in the multi-party setting and the concrete efficiency. Despite the importance of the problem of concretely efficient, maliciously secure protocol for more than two parties, and despite the extensive research on concrete efficient PSI protocols prior to our work, very little progress was made for multi-party PSI. In particular, there has been no concretely efficient multi-party maliciously secure PSI protocol prior to our work. Simple is the first concretely efficient multi-party, maliciously secure, where the security is proven for online-offline mode in the universal composability framework against any number of corrupt parties PSI protocol. It has the communication complexity linear in the number of parties and in the size of the input set and quadratic in a computation security parameter. It has only two rounds of communication in the online phase. We revisit the parameter analysis of previous works on efficient PSI based on the similar building blocks, which results in up to 25% more efficient offline phase. We implemented our protocol and run extensive experiments with up to 32 parties and 2 to the 20 inputs. It is competitive even with the previously known semi-honest MPSI protocols. In our protocol, we utilize three main building blocks. The data structure, call it garbled bloom filter or GBF, K out of an oblivious transfer, and secret sharing. Let me shortly describe each of these uh, three tools. I will start with the garbled bloom filter, which are an extension of bloom filters. Suppose that any item in the set X has its own associated value. Here, X1 has the value Y1 x2 has the value y2 and so on. For now, we can consider the mapping x to y as a random mapping. We define gbf as the vector of numbers in the following way. Let any item has its unique set of indexes inside gbf defined by a fixed number of hash functions. We set the numbers at those indexes in gbf such that xor of them equals the value y1. The same 
is about x2 and y2, x3 and y3, and so on. When we fill the GBF for the new item, we don't touch previously filled positions. In this way, we can put some amount of items in this data structure, not that there are many distinct GBFs for the same set, even with the same associated values. Having GBF, the item X and the value Y, it's possible to check if X is in GBF or not. In the case if X is not in GBF, the probe returns some random value, which is with high probability, not Y. GBFs are additive. If X has the value Y in the first GBF and Y star in another, then its value in XOR of GBFs is Y XOR Y star. If X is not in even a single set, then the probe returns some random value. Thus, XOR of GBFs for the sets is the GBF of the intersection of those sets. The second building block is K out of an oblivious transfer protocol. It allows the receiver to secretly pick k values out of n, which the sender provides. The sender has no information about the choice, and the receiver obtains only chosen values, but nothing more. In our protocol, we use this building block to limit each party in receiving numbers in GBF of other parties. We utilize the efficient approximate random k out of n OT protocol of Rendal and Rosalek. We did the refined parameter analysis for it, which results in up to 25% optimization there, and also gives stronger security guarantees. The third building block is the special case of the XOR secrets sharing scheme. Let the party has some number A. The secret shares A1, A2, and the one AT are random numbers chosen such that their XOR equals A. In our protocol, each party secret shares its GBF once it's computed and sends shares to other parties. As all the shares apart from one, which party keeps for itself, are uniformly random values, the secret sharing communications belong to the offline phase. In a nutshell, our protocol is the following. First, parties make the secret sharing of their GBFs. Then, each PI has two-sided K out of NLT with the designated party P0. Afterwards, each PI makes the local computation recalculating the new GBF and sends it to the designated party directly. P0 locally XOR all GBFs it's received and computes the intersection of all the parties. The secret sharing and all rounds of OT apart from the last one are performed in the offline phase. Thus, the online phase has only two rounds. We implemented our protocol, incorporated several code optimizations, and ran extensive experiment with up to 32 parties and 2 to the 20 inputs. We separated the protocol into offline and online phases. With the sizes of input up to 2 to the 12, the online phase is significantly smaller than the offline one. With big input sizes, it's about the half of the overall running time due to the massive computation of GBFs for big sets. Sample is competitive even with the previously known semi-honest MPSI protocols. Details of the implementation experiments and comparison can be found in our article. The preprint of this article was published in February 2021. Subsequent to it, two significant multi-party MPSI works were published. In Gary Mele et al. 2021, authors followed our outline and in stage GBF utilized the new data structure, THGCT, which belongs to the same class of oblivious k-value storages as GBF, but magnitude sigma smaller. In this way, they achieved sigma times better asymptotic complexity than we. 
because 3HGCT has no empty positions, they had to limit the malicious party in another way, using V all day protocol instead K out of NLT. The most round efficient V all day, however, allows only at least three rounds of communication in the online phase of such MPSI protocol. Sadly, there was no implementation made for this multi-party case. Both Simple and GPRTI21 work with the fully malicious setting, where all the parties but one can be corrupt. The other subsequent work of Niveau and ENI 2021 constructs the MPSI protocol for the relaxed security requirements when there is a threshold for the number of corrupt parties. If this threshold is the number of parties minus one, then their protocol is the same as GPRTI 21. And if it's smaller, then the communication complexity is lower. This work has an excellent instantiation, which expectable outperform ours. Simple is the first concretely efficient, maliciously secure against any number of corrupt parties multi-party PSI protocol. There were no concretely efficient, maliciously secure PSI protocols prior to our work. We revisit the parameter analysis of previous works on efficient PSI based on garbled bloom filters and oblivious transfer. Performing a careful analysis, we were able to reduce the number of required OT calls by up to 25%. This improvement also implies a stronger security guarantee. We implemented simple, incorporated several code optimizations and run experiments with up to 32 parties and 2 to 20 inputs to show the practicality of simple. These results show that simple is competitive even with the previous concretely efficient semi-honest multi-party PSI protocols. For the conclusion, let me draw some open questions. Despite the fact that in this work and in subsequent ones, the concrete efficiency was obtained and MPSI protocol presents scales well with the number of parties, the designated parties load is proportional to the number of parties, which limits in some way the performance of existing MPSI protocols. They think that it's beneficial to consider how the load could be better balanced. For now, all malicious concrete efficient MPSI protocols give output to only one party. It's interesting to see how to make all the parties obtain the output at a not very high price. The subsequent works obtain better asymptotic and concrete efficiency, but by the price of the online round complexity. It's interesting to see if it's possible to have them both. Out of the MPSI field, there are a number of other multi-party private set operation problems where our techniques could be possibly relevant, such as private set union and threshold private set union, uh, where the output are elements that are in the input sets of at least K parties. This is all I have on this talk. I invite you to look at the paper for many interesting details I have not covered here.